Welcome again, PBA LBC League Bowlers. Once again, I'm Neil Strummel, the PBA Director of Rules and Equipment. And once again, I'm joined by EJ Tackett, PBA Champion. Welcome, EJ. Thanks, Neil. Thanks for having me again. All right, you had a great season. You had uh, how many majors? We had two. Two majors this year and six overall titles? Five. All right, well, you got to work on that. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it was a fantastic year. We're here at the PBA Tour Finals that you qualified again for, proving that you had a great year. Tell me about the equipment you used this year that uh, got you here. Yeah, so uh, obviously I've been with Motive for a very long time now. Uh, I signed in October of 2012, so I'm coming up on 11 years with wow. the company. Almost, I think I'm about three years shy of... Uh, the entirety of the, of the company yeah. existence. So uh, it's pretty cool that I've been with them for so long and um, it's just such a great company to be with. In front of me here, we got the, uh, the Black Venom that uh, came out, uh, wasn't too long ago, maybe the end of last year or so, yep. I think. Yep. It was such a great addition uh, to the line. Uh, I used it quite a bit this year. Um, I actually used it to win one of the titles uh, in, uh, in Jackson. This yeah, year, yes. uh, I ended up using it on the on the short the short lane on the right lane, and uh, worked out great uh, between this ball and uh, obviously a Venom Shock that everyone saw uh, used a lot this year was was uh, absolutely fantastic. But yeah, this has uh, been been a staple in the bag for sure. Uh, it's it's a little bit different than Venom Shock. It has the the asymmetric core in it. Um, the the cover is a slightly cleaner, I think, than the than the Venom Shock, but. Uh, I uh, I really like it. I, I, I like how, where it fits in the line, the the difference that it gives me uh, compared to the Venom Shock. Um, I, it's easy to go from one to the other. Uh, normally from this one to the Venom Shock because it is an asymmetric core. So really trying to control the mid part of the lane with this one and uh, it does that very well. Yeah. Well, you can't argue with the results. You had a lot of success with both balls this year. So if you're a league bowler, like many of the people watching our video and getting a ball they're going to get a ball for uh for league this fall would you recommend this ball or both of them together or is there anything else that's uh, out there that you think is something they should have in their bag yeah i mean if someone was going to you know maybe maybe build an arsenal uh, yeah. of bowling balls and obviously they're not going to have a ton but if, if you're going to build three bowling balls yeah let's say um, I, I would give people four bowling ball choices. Venom Shock, a Jackal Ghost, Black Venom, and a Primal Shock. Yeah. Uh, those balls, I think, have had great success uh, over the years. Obviously, the Venom Shock has been a staple for uh, nine years in the line now. Uh, the same cover is on the Primal Shock. So those two, you, you get, really get to see the difference in how, what a core makes difference of a bowling ball. Yeah, they go hand in hand, cover stock wise, different yeah, cores. Yeah, they're exactly the same cover. So you get to see the difference in, in the core in that ball. Um, and obviously the, the Venom gives you something different than that. And then you have a, a bigger ASIM ball in the Jackal Ghost. It's obviously a, a proven ball as well. I think that one's been in the line since uh, 2017. So it's proven itself. So if someone was gonna build an arsenal, you know, it's like, okay, here's, here's some very, very solid choices and uh, go ahead and an arsenal out of these right. out of these four bowling balls well it sounds like great advice you've had a lot of success with those balls and uh, I hope that our league bowlers out there can follow that advice maybe jump on three of those balls like you suggest and attack the lanes this fall and I hope all the league bowlers out there can remember to support our sport thank you